We are doing the shoot today. Um, the shoot is based on Mark Gertler's uh, The Merry-Go-Round. The challenge will be to do anything as interesting as what Mark Gertler did with his painting, because I think the, the palette of that painting is pretty much fantastic, you know, it's perfect. To me, it's like a precursor of pop art. It's so kind of industrial, in a way, in its, in its sort of, in its limited tones. I feel like I've always been drawn to it. It's a picture that I saw very early on as a secondary school student. Um, it's kind of sweet, but it has this amazing kind of menace. It was um, painted during the First World War, and it's actually a scene on Hampstead Heath of uh, soldiers returning from the trenches, reunited with their girlfriends. It's just so loaded with the endless circle of war, the endless circle of life, and the endless sort of circle of uh, love. I intend to, uh, you know, take the elements of the painting and create a series of photographic studies uh, as if they were made by the artist himself. Now I wonder what Mark Gertner would make of all of this. Nearly 100 years after his painting, the camera was just in its infancy in 1916, and the idea of uh, Photography as art is still very far away from, you know, from his experience of photography. When I work on an idea of reinterpreting a painting or maybe something autobiographical or what have you, what I like to do is kind of go into that as a kind of art student and visually inquire as much as I can about that subject matter. Going well, I've got a sort of like um, the direction now. You know, when you sort of start these kind of projects, you have all this stuff, and um, you hope it will go somewhere. And uh, I always believe the camera will sort it out. You know, that um, something that seems completely uh, preposterous, once you look through the lens, the camera has this amazing ability of arranging objects in space. Um, so I kind of let it do that. Working on film means I have to shoot on Polaroid before I shoot film. And the Polaroid is basically give me the clue as to whether it will work or not. You try something, you wait for the Polaroid to cook, it's like two minutes. It's a very long two minutes when you, you really want to see it. In my work, I, I kind of, I, I sort of resent the idea of the photograph as being a, a moment in time and work against that constantly and try and think of it as rather than a single moment, I like to think of it as eternity. Wow, genius, love it. I think what great photography does, it sort of, it leads you into the image. Although, unlike a movie, it doesn't have a beginning, middle and end, it's just there, you know, and opens the door to so many questions and thoughts, you know.